All right, all right. We're back at the beer garage with a brand new brew. Today we're going all the way to Bethel, Connecticut. Try their Valkyrie Czech style amber lager coming in at 6% alcohol by volume. Really cool can art there. Gotta love it, gotta love it. And I forgot that I was doing this beer review, even though I just made the story saying, hey, I'm gonna be reviewing this. So I already got it into a glass. Luckily, I didn't sip it yet. Let me top her off. So yeah, skipping right to the, uh, the port here. Oh. You just saw that carbonation rush to the top there. That's beautiful. Gorgeous color. Nice apricot color with a, but a one finger, slightly off white head. Again, just gorgeous. I love it. I love this glass too. I just love the blue swirl. Cheers to IPA on Instagram if you'd like a glass like this. I'm not a sponsor, by the way. Just, I love this glass. Let's get the scent on this. Oh, okay. Get your roasted bready malt. Nice bit of spice in there. You get a little bit of a caramel. It is a good balance on the maltiness, you get equal parts breadiness, equal parts caramel. I can't tell, maybe I'm getting a slight herbal hop character in there, I'm not entirely sure, but let's dive in and get the taste on this. Cheers. Oh, that mouthfeel is just so beautiful. It's so pillowy. Yeah, just off the bat with that mouthfeel. It's definitely from a Pilsner malt. And then sometimes they might use a Vienna or a Munich malt. Or a caramel malt. Doesn't really say on the can. Getting a spicy, a spicy note from it. A little tiny bit of a hop character. A little bit of caramel, a little bit of toffee. A little bit of a fruity essence. Maybe, maybe just barely a stone fruit. It's almost like kind of suggesting a stone fruit. Like, hey, maybe this the stone fruit was just in the room and then it left. But yeah, very straightforward beer. But it's just, I can't rave enough about this. It's just, uh, from start to finish. From the mouthfeel to the body, to just the overall malt flavors, the breadiness, but also like the drinkability as well. It's not like, it's not too malty, it's not too sweet. Yeah, I totally forgot that I was doing this beer review. I posted the Instagram story like, hey, I'm going to be reviewing this beer. Then I just kind of found myself on the couch with the beer already cracked. I'm like, hey, wait, shit, I gotta, I gotta film this. So yeah, overall, biscuity, bready, floral hop character, the dark rich flavors from the caramel malt. Fantastic, solid, solid beer. Let's rate it. Color. I don't think, have I ever had a Czech style amber lager on this channel or in my life? I don't think I have. So this is a first, I'm not sure what to compare it to, but I just think that's beautiful. I'm going to go 8.5 out of 10. Didn't even have to think about that. 8.5 out of 10 across the, or not across the board, just for that. On the scent. Mmm. I'm gonna go solid 8, 5 out of 10 as well on the flavor. It is a little different coming from the can because I was just at their brewery and I had it straight out of the, uh, out of the, the, oh wow, forgetting my beer terms. You know, the taps. Yeah, I think, yeah, right? I think I would rate the one I had at the brewery a little bit higher. So for out of the can, for the flavor, I think I'm gonna have to leave it at an 8. The one I had at the brewery, I would probably give that an 8, 6 to an 8.8 8 out of 10. It varies because it's from memory. But Vienna, yeah, no, absolutely solid beer. That was my review of Valkyrie Czech style amber lager. I think that was the first Czech style amber lager I've had on the channel. <clears throat> if you see it on the shelves, do pick it up. And if you're in the area of Bethel, Connecticut, definitely stop by. Uh, Ooh, broken symmetry. Ooh, heartburn. Yeah, fan. Yeah. It's a fantastic brewery right on the train tracks. I'll throw in some footage. They also have amazing smash burgers as well, and beer, of course, and great people. I'm going to go finish the rest of this beer. You go enjoy the rest of your night, and I'll see you back at the beer garage.